Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about Punishing Grey Raven, which is one of the most, uh, my most anticipated gacha games. What's got me talking about it is that a global release has been confirmed and I think it is coming soon. There is speculation that it will come before 2021 finishes and about like September, October, about then. Actually guys, I'll just show you guys what I saw and it is this global teaser video for PGR. So just quickly again, PGR is Punishing Grey Raven. So essentially when this trailer first first came out, a lot of us was actually like pretty skeptical because there's no publisher, no website, no Twitter account. And I kind of saw the same thing, right? However, when you actually go into the YouTube video, it brings you to this channel. And then in this YouTube channel, when you go to the about, we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, and they actually link you to these two, which are, you know, it's really sketchy to be honest. Like these two accounts look a little bit sketchy. However, what has happened is a prominent content creator for PGR has actually released some chat logs, I guess, through their VIP hotline. What this person recommends has actually done is that they've actually confirmed that these three accounts, those sketchy looking ones, are indeed the global accounts. I think they're starting to register the stuff, they're starting to build the hype, hopefully get some pre-registrations going on. And admittedly, I would say there's about like five to six months away from release. Like, don't, don't quote me on that, guys. Do not quote me on that. But I kind of want to just show you some gameplay and like some of the systems and how it really looks and feels. It's like, I, I, I love it. Like I said, this is one of my most anticipated gatches this year, and I really cannot wait for it to come out. It's already come out in CN, T which is Taiwan and JP Japan. All right, with that being said, let me switch back over to uh, PGR and let's see what is happening over here. First, this is the UI and it's a little bit reminiscent of like Ark Knights or like, um, you know, like it's a very futuristic sci-fi kind of feel. You can see like the robotic arms in the background. What you'll notice when you play through the game is it, it kind of is like that sci-fi kind of feel. You know what? Let's, let's go do a stage. How about that? All right, to get into a stage, we just hop over here. I'm up to two, four, I think. So guys, I have not been playing long. Like this is kind of like more of a first impressions kind of video because like this is, this is not a guide please do not take anything i say here as gospel so this is just saying i think i don't have enough uh of like the power level but you know what i'm a freaking mad lad so let's let's go let's freaking go so i'm just gonna skip all that because that is not relevant to you guys i want to show you guys the gameplay first before anything because if you guys don't like the gameplay then there's no point in like actually you know picking up this game so that's our main character man she's super cute and i'm oh whoopsie do okay so it's actually w ASD for emulation and it actually works really well. So you can see up here, we've got a bunch of skills up here, right? So if I click them, that's what actually happens. I use the skill and this is the attack button, normal attack. However, on, on the emulation, I can hit spacebar. I don't know if you guys can hear me smashing the spacebar button, but when you attack, you gain these skills. And then when you use these skills, you can actually stack them up. Well, they'll have a bigger effect when you actually use them with like, see, it used two of them at once. So this guy has lost his legs. I'm just going to go finish him off, put him out of his misery and what i'm about to show you next is dodge okay so the i am in bullet time now so you see that okay let me pause for a sec that like different dimension kind of thing that was that was pretty freaking cool so essentially if you do like a really close or perfect dodge then you get like some bullet time some slow-mo mode kind of thing and you can actually just keep hacking at them so i'm gonna try to do it again for you guys so yeah i just need to like try dodge <sighs> Oh, there we go. There we go. See, I can, they're slow mode and I can keep hacking at them, right? So that's actually really cool. It's freaking sick. It's like, this is really puts like the action in ARPG. So what we've got is we've got actually another two characters so I can actually switch into them. Uh, let me finish this guy off and then I will, oh, and somehow I got into slow mo mode again. That's so freaking weird. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to switch into those characters. Bam. And you've actually got another character now. So when you switch to another character, you can use that character, but they also come onto the field using a skill. And as you can see, I am, uh, I, I really don't know what I'm doing and I'm in slow mo mode again. I think you can switch during slow mo mode, which is cool. And this chick actually fires out a black hole. All right, I think that's kind of it. That's pretty much like the combat in a nutshell. A lot of people are going to look at this and think like, oh, it's like Genshin. It's not really like Genshin. Like, as you can see, we're actually going through stages and it's very like, it's very it's very structured and you go through stages, right? Whereas Genshin is like for open world. If you have played Mihoyo's other games, such as Honkai Impact, this is probably a lot closer to that where you can actually switch out characters, keep going with the, you know, the hack and slash and just go flying around the screen, right? I think that's enough for the combat. Uh, let me let me see and we finished the stage i think so look at her she's so cute well the mc is so cute now i give that i rate that i rate that out of eight 
Yeah. So yeah, these are the drops. This is me leveling up from 15 to 16. And um, this is them asking me to do something, but I'm going to say no. Okay. Apparently that wasn't the no button. Okay. I, I didn't consent to this. Come on guys. So now I'm back here at the main screen and I just want to show you a couple of other things. So there's a lot of things that you guys are probably curious about. One of the most notable, probably the gacha. So I think that one's gacha. No, that's not gacha. This one's gacha. Yeah, this one's the gacha system. So what we have here is a bunch of banners. So let me just quickly describe this gacha system. What we have here is a beginner banner where you roll 40 to get a guaranteed S. So if you haven't figured out by now, the units go from B to A to S. However, I do believe that the units can go beyond. Uh, so you might need some dupes and stuff for that. However, obviously early game, you don't think about dupes. You just get as many characters as you can. So after this beginner banner has been exhausted, I think you can go on to actually pick one of these banners to go on. It's actually a pretty interesting system. So this is the new character in which if you pull an S, you will 100% get that character. On the other banner, this is, I think, the old banner. So I think what happens here is that you can actually go in and select the S that you want. So I want this chick. So you can see that she has been selected and she now has a rate up of 70% if I get an S on this banner. So again, to repeat, so just to clarify that if I pull on this banner on this box, I'll have some chance. I think it's like 0.5% chance, which I don't actually see here, which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So I will have a 0.5 chance of actually getting the S rank. So for this banner, every 10 pulls, you will get an A rank and every 60 pulls, you will be guaranteed an S rank. So when you get that S rank, or if you get any S ranks, you have a 70% chance of getting the rate of character that you get to pick yourself between the two characters, which is actually a pretty interesting system. I believe for this one, for this banner, the pity actually carries over, which is similar to Genshin's uh, pity system, which is really good. Now, if we go over to the third tab and you can see that the banners are like virtually identical, right? However, this one is a little bit different. Of course it's different. Otherwise, why would there be two tabs? So what's happening in this one instead is that you actually use 80 to 100 pulls to get the guarantee. The difference is is that these banners although they take 80 to 100 pulls for the guarantee they actually have a rate up of 1.5 percent instead of 0.5 which is what these ones were for so i think this is kind of like the game that's giving you an option between you know are you a little ballsy you know you go for the 0.5 but you can get the guarantee in less pulls or you want to go for the 1.5 percent but potentially have to go up to 80 to 100 so i think just for all of these banners they carry over to the respective banner so this one will carry over to the new one when this one changes this one will carry over to its new one and the same deal for these two but yeah i think that's enough about the gacha i'm gonna go actually you know there's one thing i left to talk about so this is actually the weapon gacha i believe so you can see here we've got rate up so we've got a five star weapon guaranteed every 10 pulls and a six star weapon every 30 pulls again over here you can see that you can select the weapons that you want to be pulling for the progression system is quite similar to arc knights i think where you go up like i think in this one it's like you go up and become a sergeant or something but yeah you've got a bunch of cards that adds attributes and then you've got your weapon there so you can see here i've upgraded my purple four star weapon up to level 16. so if i click into this one you can see that i'm level 5 currently where this character is and i can push it up higher so i will get her to level let's say nope i am over capping on exp i will not do that i'll go to level 14 let's do that all right and wow that stat gain is pretty well, on paper it looks kind of crappy but then you need to remember that this is like a hack and slash game you can see how fast i was attacking before and i'm sure this makes a difference all right let's get out of that Another thing I want to show you guys is the cash shop. So I think like for the most part, what I've read is that the whales apparently don't have enough to spend on, which is really interesting. Essentially, they're saying like, I think the monthlies and everything and like the free income, like it's relatively generous, which is a great thing. I just hope that they're making enough money to sustain themselves. But yeah, there is actually a lot of emphasis on skins. So as you can see, look at all these skins. Woo! That is what I am talking about. Hmm. <clears throat> I carry on. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not all waifus. Look at that. That looks like something out of Jujutsu Kaisen, man. Let's love it. I freaking love it. And um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm talking about, you know. Look at her. All right. I think it's enough simping for one day. Let's move on. Oh wow. Okay. I just found the skin section. Oh my lordy. Help me. I cannot wait for this game. Wow. Okay. There are actually a lot of skins. Like, and there's weapons. I think I just saw weapons 
skins as well. This is actually pretty crazy. Let's see what she's got. Oh my lord. This is freaking insane. Okay. But yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Uh, aside from that, like, you know, we got stages. We use stamina to consume those stages. Quite standard gacha practice. It looks like this is our standard currency that we use to buy stuff. And this is our premium currency up here. But yeah, otherwise the look and feel of this game. Oh, what is this? But yeah, I think you guys get the look and feel of this. Like, I'm really excited for this game. Let's hope that it comes soon and that the all those Facebook and Twitter accounts or whatever were actually real. Guys, I promise you when this comes to global, I will have more resources. I'll have more things to talk about. Rerolling guides, builds, optimizations. You guys already know what's up, man. For anybody who is worried that I will be dropping Princess Connect, absolutely not. Princess Connect is still like my favorite game right now and I will play it until well, hopefully it doesn't shut down. Like ever. Like I'll play it till like I'm 85. This boy just loves multiple gatches, man. What can you do? So just a quick tour of all of the possible. Oh my lord. She is like an android. Sorry, like I was saying, a quick tour of the possible characters in Taiwan at this time. I believe Taiwan is probably one of the later servers. CN is the oldest server, so they're going to have characters that we don't have currently. If you see anything you like, you know, you tell me. You tell me what you like. Actually, you know what? If there is a secret question for this video, it is, you know, which character? You know, tell me which one you like. Because, like, there's a, quite a lot of nice looking characters, you know what I'm saying? Even the dudes are looking pretty good, and that's kind of something I do like about this game. Oh my lord. I'm just going to keep flicking through them. Oh, what happened to her legs? Is she an android? Oh my lord. Okay. All right, let's keep going. And that's essentially it. Uh, if you have a quick look through, what do you like? Who do you like? Who don't you like? Let me know. I'm actually a massive fan of the MC. Like that's a... That is a great character design. All right, with that being said, let's wrap it up. Like I said, let me know who your favorite character is. That is the secret question for today. Out of everybody that I scrolled through, who is your favorite character? Who do you want to pick up? Drop their description down below because I cannot, for the love of God, I cannot tell you what their names are. And then you know what? We can play a guessing game from your description. You know, um, this one's a bit easy to describe. I'm going to have to say that at this point, the main character it might actually be my favorite character design right now. Oh, maybe this one with like the censored ass. I also like this one. One. What the heck? She's got roller skates. Oh my lordy. This one is very cool. She reminds me of W from Arknights. I think it's just like the red horns and the white hair actually. All right, guys, let me know if you guys are hyped for this game because I am so freaking hyped. I know it's like five months away. I'll provide updates when I can. Pre-registers, if you guys are gacha vets, you guys already know what's up. If you guys are also enjoying this type of content where I'm bringing you gachas to light, well, consider telling me that. Hopefully you guys do. I do love Princess Connect, but I love a lot of other gachas too. All right, guys, with that being said, if this video was cool, consider dropping a sub or a like or a comment or a pin. I'd be very grateful. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.